Now, breaking news from NBC4. Columbus Mayor Andrew Ginther announcing Thomas Quinlan no longer chief of police. He is now a deputy chief. NBC4 anchor Colleen Marshall is here now to break it all down and tell us what this means for the city of Columbus. Colleen. Well, as we said earlier, this is not something that anyone finds shocking or unexpected. Uh, chief Quinlan had said all along that he is capable of doing the job and that he is capable of leading the city through the reforms that Mayor Ginther envisions. But late today, the mayor announced that Tom Quinlan is out as the uh, chief of police. This is the one year anniversary of when he was appointed. There was one year in which the mayor could make a decision on whether or not to make that appointment permanent. And as you are about to hear from the mayor himself, he decided that he is not the man, Quinlan is not the man to lead the division of police. It became clear to me that Chief Quinlan could not successfully implement the reform and change I expect and that the community demands. Columbus residents have lost faith in him and in the division's ability to change on its own. Chief Quinlan understood. He agreed to step back so the city can move forward. And just minutes ago, the now Deputy Chief Quinlan, he still will be with the division, issued a statement that says, in part, the opportunity to serve as your Chief of Police has been the honor of my career. While I very much hoped to continue in that role, I respect the safety director's decision and the community's need to go in a different direction. And we know that there were prominent religious leaders who have joined together who are calling for social reform and police reform within the city of Columbus, who have been calling for the mayor to do exactly what he did today and ask for the resignation or ask for Chief Quinlan to step down into a different position. And I can let you know that I will be talking hopefully soon uh, with the former chief, Kim Jacobs, about all of this. She's been very vocal about thinking that police in Columbus were not treated fairly uh, when they were criticized so heavily during all that social unrest last summer. We'll see what she has to say, and we'll have that for you coming up a little bit later. But again, if you want to read more of the police statement from uh, the mayor and also the statement from Chief Quinlan, we have it at NBC4i.com. A couple Brad? of questions for you, Colin. Sure. We talked about how, how expensive it was on this national search. And it's not the search people who are supposed to pick. That's the official's job. But we're going back to the same search firm on this. Is there a question about doing that? Yeah, it's Ralph Anderson and Associates who will once again be doing this nationwide search. And the mayor has said he has great faith in their ability. That search last year was whittled down to two two people, and I know uh, I don't have the name off the top of my it's head, Harry I believe. Tarrant. Yes, Darlene does. Um, he was a finalist as well as Chief Quinlan. The mayor went with Chief Quinlan, someone who was within the division, and at that time a lot of people were saying, why did you go across the country in this national expensive search if you were going to find someone in your backyard? He's going to get criticism this time because now we're back at square one. All that money will have to be paid over again. I have a feeling, though, I, I'm not in the prediction business, but he's going to have a lot of pressure to pick someone from outside the city to lead this police reform movement. But again, we've got, of course, police officers hitting me up, other law enforcement officials hitting me up right now on my Twitter or my, uh, tweeting me out yeah. about this one. The mayor is going to spend and taxpayers are going to spend hundreds of thousands of dollars. And again, they believe he's still going to go with someone who's already in house. So we'll continue to follow that. Yeah, I know we'll you're see working that resources happens. just like everybody else in the newsroom yeah. is at this point. Colleen, thanks. Thank you. Appreciate it. We'll talk soon. Ten days ago, NBC Four's Adrian Robbins spoke one on one with Thomas Quinlan. And Adrian, originally you were speaking about the expected protests coming up for the city as we entered the inauguration, but you also had a chance to ask him about possibly not being chief anymore as well, correct? Brad, that's right. We were originally discussing just a little over a week ago the possibility of armed protests coming here to Columbus because of the inauguration. But I did also ask Chief Quinlan about his contract, and the question didn't surprise him. He clearly knew that his probation year was coming to a close, and with the investigation into the shooting of Andre Hill ongoing, and after the summer of protests we saw over police violence, he's aware it's been a rocky year. Now, at the same time, Chief Quinlan seemed committed to remaining in this position.
position. And here's what he had to say about the possibility of being removed as chief. Do you see yourself continuing to be the chief of police? And is that the message you're getting from the mayor as well? Well, I'm let the mayor certainly speak for himself. I am the chief until I'm not. Uh, I made a commitment to both the mayor and to the community uh, to lead reforms in the division, and I'm doing exactly that. Chief Quinlan went on to defend his policies that he's put in place over the past year, saying that it will take time to see actual real change from the work that he's been doing. Local for you at the State House, I'm Adrian Robbins, NBC4. Adrian, thanks so much. Well, of course, we will continue to gather information on this breaking news story. We'll bring you updates on air and online at NBC4i.com.